What you're seeing on the screen right now is a dashboard. I created this using R programming as a Quarto output. Quarto lets you weave together content and executable code in any kind of output that you can imagine, be it a PDF, a Word document, a PowerPoint presentation, a web page. So this is the way to create reproducible documents. You are going to love this. For example, he has a PDF that I created and you know what's absolutely gorgeous about this? Look at this. It even creates references. It creates a bibliography at the end of your document. He has a web page that I created. You would not believe how easy it is to create this sort of output in our studio using Quarto. Now he has a nice table of content and look, here's where the magic is. Quarto lets you insert executable code and it lets the output of that code get automatically inserted into your document, whether it's a Word document, a PDF, an HTML document, a dashboard. And what's lovely about it is as your data gets updated, your output will automatically be updated with it. So you can create reproducible documents. Quarto gives you enormous control over what it is that lands up in the output that you're creating, both in terms of the look feel, and we're gonna walk through all of this and exactly how to do it, but also in terms of whether or not you want to or don't want to show the code that went into creating a plot. So in this case, I've opted to make the code available. Here's the code for that particular plot. And I've got little annotations that you can use to see how, what it is that I was doing in any particular part of that code. Okay, so very exciting stuff, let's keep going. Now today I'm gonna to teach you how to get going with Quarto, but over the next few videos, I'm gonna teach you absolutely everything you need to know to be able to produce these sorts of outputs. So, excited? I hope so, let's do this. For each of the lessons, I've created an HTML document like the one you're seeing on the screen right now, that'll walk you through all of the details that I'm gonna teach you, right? And I'm gonna give you access to these documents. There'll be a link on the screen at the end of the video. So today we'll learn about how to get going. Then we're gonna learn about inserting code into your document and how to control whether or not the code is run and whether it displays the output, et cetera, et cetera. Then we'll learn about these